What a beautiful day. The day is just beginning. It's already about 80 degrees, it feels like. I'm telling you people, warmth and sun year-round is good for the spirit. It's the light that gives you joy. Who wouldn't be joyful to see the beauty of God's creation? The light of the world, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That's why they call him the light of the world. The light is the spirit. The life force of God is our Father, the creator of all things. The life force of Abba is Yeshua, Amashia, Jesus Christ. He came in the flesh, the life force of God, the energy, the essence of the spirit of God manifested in the flesh of Jesus Christ, his son. And that's what the Spirit is in us. The Holy Spirit is the life force of Jesus Christ. Who wouldn't want that energy, that life force? Think of life force. Think of the Spirit as a hard drive of a computer. Without the hard drive, the computer wouldn't work. It's the brains of the computer. So without the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, without His life force in you, you are basically a shell. You're empty and anything can come and dwell in that empty space. Meaning the world which has been infested by a negative life force, an evil life force of that wicked one, Satan. Now if you refuse to let the life force of Jesus Christ dwell in you, and 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 guard your heart and mind and 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 not control because he gives you free will but basically he downloads in you the blueprint of his heart so if you refuse that blueprint guess who will come in and take that space the wicked one so I'm just telling you all a little bit about the Holy Spirit and what it can do. Listen, the Word of God is like the meat. You know, in the Word of God it says, Jesus Christ is the bread of life. And I say He is also the meat. When a baby is young, you don't give it meat. You, you give it sort of liquefied or, you know, you don't give a baby red. And you don't give it even hard bread unless you mash it. So... For you babes in Christ to eat the word of God, which is his, his, the Bible, you can't start with Revelation or Ezekiel or any of the prophets. Maybe start with the Psalms, the songs of God. Maybe start with one verse at a time and, and, and Genesis and you may not understand it all at once, but once that word starts to, what happens when a baby slowly eats? And then he hungers for something more. He's watching you eat chicken and, and steak, and that baby is smelling that chicken and steak, and his belly is used to the food. Now he's ready for a little meat. So once you get a, some of the word in you, start with baby steps. Every day, take a verse and read it and study it and chew upon it and let it indwell your heart. That's how the Holy Spirit grows. You gotta feed the Spirit of God. You gotta pray, fast, read and study His Word. Seek Him with all your heart. That's Roy in the background. You know, for him to be a big dog, look at him. He plays like a baby. Look at him. But don't get it twisted. If you mess with Roy, he'll go off on you. Right, Roy? Yeah, I might play, Mama. But I will go off. Yeah, but let's get back to the word. The Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit? And is the Holy Spirit a man, a person? No. It is a life force. But everything needs to be fed until Christ comes and dwell on this earth again and renew everything. Things will not renew itself. So even the Holy Spirit in you 
will need to be nurtured in order for it to grow. Give me the ball one. So, how do you nurture your the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ? You read, you study, you pray, you seek Him, you fast, you eat upon the Word little by little until you start to hunger for the prophets and revelation, and then God will reveal more unto you as you grow in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of His Word. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of wisdom this day to let you know that sometimes you watch others and you you see how others have peace you you see people in the world today struggling stressing worrying and the bible says who can grow a, a hair upon his head and or who can make themselves an inch taller by worrying so don't worry don't worry be happy put your worries upon the one who can make the change for you. The Bible says that you, the Lord can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think. Think about that. Exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think. So you can't think up enough that God can go above he can go above whatever your mind can imagine. So why wouldn't you lay your woes, your stresses at his footstool so he can handle Listen, people. I don't put my faith in money. Stop worrying. Boy loves to play. Okay. I don't put my faith in my job. I don't put my faith in people. What I put my faith in is the one who can deliver for me and who will never leave me, nor forsake me, nor fail me. It's no way God can fail. He can't. He created everything, so if he created everything, he can restore it. He can put it back. So if anything was taken from you, if anything you lost, if anything stresses you, the Lord can fix it. He's a healer, he's a carpenter, he's a doer. He's not a, um, you know, some people tell you they'll do something for you or help you, but when you really need them, they give you excuses. God makes no excuses. He keeps his promises. So to encourage someone today in the Lord, I say eat upon, sup upon his word. Draw closer to him and he will draw closer to you. God is not a God who chases people unless you are chosen for a certain purpose. And it's like Jonah was. Jonah ran from God, didn't want to listen to what God told him to do. He told him to go to Nineveh, preach the word and the gospel to the people so that they would be saved. And Jonah judged the people from his heart. He didn't lean upon the Lord. He, wanted, he saw these sinners and said, I'm not going there. Those wicked sinners, they don't deserve you, Lord. And the Lord put him in the belly of a whale and spit him out right where he wanted him, in Nineveh. He chased Jonah and put him in the belly of a whale, and, and the whale swallowed him up and spit him out right where the Lord God told him to go. He did what God told him eventually, but God normally gives you free will. He won't chase you like he did Jonah unless he gives you a certain purpose for him to do and you refuse it. God did it for Moses. He did it for a lot of the prophets. And they didn't, a lot of them were afraid, normal people like I say, even Moses said, I'm not a good speaker. I'm not an orator. I don't want it. Moses really kind of didn't want that job. But God placed it on his heart and when God puts something in your heart, you got to do it. And that's the word for the day, people. Enjoy your day. Try to find some peace in the middle of whatever storm you're in. Remember that storms don't last forever. They all pass. And in Christ, the storm is still. You will be in the eye of it, the stillness of it. So stay blessed. 
Let your mind have peace in the Lord Jesus Christ. Read and study his word. And eventually you'll hunger for more. Right, Rui? Okay. Stay blessed, people.